I like this video, but I didn't like the end of it. I didn't like how at the end it said who's next, and then it listed Korea, North Korea, Iran, France, or Britain. Excuse me. You can't think like that. Come on. Come on. You're you're manifesting this. You're you're turning it. You're trying to turn this conflict into some sort of reality. Like you want the U.S. to invade. North Korea, Iran, France, or Britain. What are you What are you doing that for? I don't think that Britain ever, particularly Britain, has any fear ever of invasion from the U.S. It does. You know, we're we're essentially the same country, and Canada and Australia because we all speak the same language. I know that we're not the same country. We have different policies, different culture, but we communicate flawlessly. And I think that's what needs to start happening around the globe more. There's no reason that we don't all speak the same language, except that we haven't taken the time to do it. But, you know, we'll get that going once that gets in place, once we do all speak the same language. I don't think that this war is going to be, you know, every things will adapt. We're not going to invade and kill people that we can talk to every day. The Civil War happened in the U.S. because there was no communication. Same as right now. This war is happening because there's no communication. Now, you can say that's happening for oil, but... If the Iraqis and the Iraqi government had spoken English, we wouldn't have invaded Iraq. It would have been a country that didn't speak English. I'm positive of that. You just don't kill people that you think of as your equals. You, you have to manufacture some sort of idea that they're less than you in order to go to war, or, or they're evil. And if you can talk to someone, they're not evil. You, you, can re you realize they're not evil. God, I'm rambling.